In the nuclear fuel production chain, the discovery and extraction of uranium ore is the first link in a long chain leading to the eventual production of a fuel complex and its use in a nuclear power plant. In order to identify uranium-containing mines, aerial detection is carried out using stationary wave equipment, which registers waves, and ultra-sensitive microfilms, known as geophysical or aerial roofs, of the targeted areas. The percentage of existing uranium in each mine is determined. After specialists and experts determine the location of the mine, Various geochemical and geological operations are carried out so that the main veins of the mine may be identified. Yaz, a city in the central area of Iran which has unique architecture. The Sagan mine is located within 185 kilometers of this historical city. In 1990, the preliminary stages of discovery were launched in this region and they successfully continue today. The deposits of this mine were identified at a depth of 230 to 350 meters and the process for accessing these areas from ground level has been accomplished. Accessing deep layers of the earth for uranium extraction was a very difficult task which was successfully accomplished thanks to the efforts of mine experts and specialists in our country. In the realm of uranium ore discovery and extraction, experts and mine specialists in our country currently benefit from a high level of stature and expertise. In addition to their ability to identify and extract from uranium mines, they also have the ability to access mines located deep underground. We can now proudly announce that by following the best international standards of discovery, extraction and accommodation, and by developing the uranium mine in the Sagand area of Yaz as a clear example of technological utilization, accessing uranium rock at a depth of 350 meters has been accomplished. In the nuclear fuel production chain, following the discovery and extraction of uranium ore, the yellow cake preparation stage, or the separation of uranium from other metals and impurities, has particular importance. As the level of uranium present in the uranium ore mine is very low, it is necessary to convert the existing uranium to a concentrated level above 75% before any other action is taken. After it is analyzed based on current standards, the uranium ore is prepared and transferred to the Yellow Cake Production Factory, or YCP. Once there, after going through a series of physical and chemical procedures, it is transformed into yellow cake, or uranium oxide. Ardakan. The yellow cake production, or YCP, factory is located within 35 kilometers of this historical city. This factory is currently being completed thanks to the initiative and efforts of nuclear experts in our country. The most important function of this factory is the extraction of uranium from the mine ore and its transformation to 75% uranium oxide or yellow cake. At first, the uranium ore enters the factory via the existing railroad in the region. After emptying its contents of the wagons, 
They are deposited into the feeding repository and then gradually sent to the separating and refining section by using a radiometric system that separates the higher concentration from the lower concentration rocks. Currently, our country's nuclear industry has so much power and capacity that it can elevate the purification percentage of the yellow cake from 80 to 90 percent. The achievement of this technology is an important and commendable step which should be well preserved. The uranium enrichment process is considered the most important stage in the nuclear fuel production chain. The enrichment applies to operations during which the existing uranium-235 isotope in the uranium rock is used as needed in nuclear power plant fuel. There are different methods for the separation of isotope 235 from isotope 238, which take place by using the difference in weight between the two isotopes 235 and 238. Natanz. It is a quiet city at the edge of the desert. The uranium enrichment project and the production of centrifuges are located within 35 kilometers of this city. This project is considered one of our national treasures. In circumstances when it was impossible to import this equipment into our country, our country's experts, through their efforts and endeavors, managed to launch production in addition to attaining this complex technology. This indigenous knowledge is utilized by the country today. The technology of enrichment lies in the rapid movement of a cylinder-shaped centrifuge machine transposed on a central axis. A UF-6 gas pipe enters the center of the moving cylinder. As you can see in the image, for each of the 7238 isotopes, identified in yellow, there is only one 235 isotope, identified in red. Due to very rapid rotations of 1,000 to 1,200 cycles per second, the 235 isotopes, which are light in weight, are pushed to the top of the center of the cylinder, and the 238 isotopes exit from another conduit. These steps continue until the enrichment or purification rate of uranium-235 reaches the enrichment level. The Natanz Enrichment Project is among the most important nuclear enrichment projects in the country. It was entirely designed by native experts in our country and will eternally remain in the country's history of technical and industrial capabilities. <laughs>